water, this location, all speaks to me of a fish I have spent a lifetime hunting. Rovin and Dennis have described the shape and habits of the monster fish that lives here. I almost dare not breathe its name. It sounds like a creature I have done battle with before, perhaps the mightiest freshwater fish of them all. But in this perfect isolation, could what I hope to confront actually be something new? This lake hides more than just a monstrous fish. We are definitely not alone. A shape I recognize comes to investigate. It's a black caiman. I've already seen what these creatures are capable of and it's unnerving having it so close. This caiman keeps swimming up and down right in front of where I'm trying to fish. And one thing I don't want to happen is for it to get tangled in the line. That wouldn't be too clever. So I'm just trying to sink the line. I'm trying to continue fishing while this is uh, coming backwards and forwards. It's getting, it's getting uncomfortably close and it's actually pointing in my direction. This is interesting. Normally, it's the human being creeping up on the wildlife to have a look at the wildlife. Roles are a bit reversed here. This caiman seems far too interested in me. Then, I suppose, we are the invaders in its domain. And like that anaconda, it seems that this beast has no fear of people whatsoever. <laughs> 